Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today I'm going to be playing some more Dragon Blades. And today is the day, actually, for Margaret and Hal and Ultimate and everything combining together. So pretty much today is the last day for finishing up Tower and getting the rest of your like PvP in and stuff, your tag teams. Today is just pretty much the last day to try out heroes or pretty much do your last, you know, goodbyes to hero. Because everything's going to be combining and then we'll no longer have separate allies to fight with. So that means it's going to be a lot tougher on players who don't have any trans, to be honest. So I guess that's why they're updating all the, pretty much updating the rewards. But the thing I'm worried about is the players who have actually started before the whole trans guide and everything who are still pretty much kind of behind. Because they also need to catch up because... Especially if they're like newer players, pretty much all they have is a key right now. As for me, on the 28th, I'm not sure if I'm going to go for a key. I might go for the allies and essence again. Just because I'm doing pretty well on getting the essence back up again. Yep, pretty much doing pretty well. I already have the essence I need to get Margaret to max though. So, yeah, that's the thing gonna be troublesome getting these ready just just for like getting here the ultimate so yeah I'm gonna probably do that just like one at a time instead of like trying to gather all, all of it then just throw it in there so yeah that's gonna suck trying to get all that but without further ado let's go ahead and do our dailies we could keep on talking through that what was my last score in this? Uh, I don't think you guys can see that. You know what? Fairly high. It got me a better rank. Oh, the team I was using got me a better rank. Uh, let's go with Helios. You know what? Instead of using this, we're going to use our Paladin again. Let's go for the Pally. Hey, get off. It's been a while since I've ever like switch characters on this account uh, let's go ahead and get in there grab Helios and who else do we want to grab hmm we could grab Kamel again but let's try it with Omega maybe Maybe. Not really sure who I actually want to try it out with. I can try it out with Black, but I don't know how well that would go. So let's just try it with Omega. See, just see how it goes. All right, let the bus fly and begin. So with all the combining and everything, pretty much what I'm gonna do for a stream which I don't know when that stream will be. I'm not sure if it's going to be like directly at 3 a.m. though because, you know, with everybody probably, one, going to school or work, two, um, probably still asleep or just getting to sleep, and just pretty much those who are already trying to farm and everything and don't have time to watch others. I mean, with all that going on, I'm not really sure what time I'm going to stream it, but I do want to, like, actually get Margaret as soon as the, like, update goes up. Alright, we're catching up a little bit. Just off by a teensy bit right there. So it'll probably be, like, early in the morning stream since for us in, um, the eastern side, we pretty much have... 3 a.m. is pretty much the time that resets the whole day. That's pretty much what I was trying to say. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it here, though. If we live longer with this team, we'll probably be able to make it, like, way further. I just cannot wait for all these new characters to come out. Especially since they're getting into the Awakens and everything. That's definitely going to be fun to get behind. But 
I think I've talked to some people in stream about this. Actually, I did. We were talking in the stream about how the Korean version got like a couple of weeks to like prepare for ultiming. That's why I said in my video when I was doing like the patch notes that they did it like sooner than expected. I didn't think ultimate was going to come out like I didn't think they were going to do like this massive update with everything combining releasing two new trans releasing ultimate changing inventory I didn't think they were going to do that all in like one update I thought they were going to do it like pretty much to let everybody get like ready for it especially ultimate ultimate I was thinking was going to be like a week or two after like Hal and Margaret, but they totally changed his perspective on that. But at the same time, I get why they did it, just because we're extremely behind the cream version. But at the same time, I would have loved to prepare for it, but I'm pretty sure they just want to keep up with like a better pace than just letting the cream version get further and further on. I guess they're trying to pump out as many updates as they can, really hoping that is not the case. Hopefully they're polishing everything before they release it and there won't be any, any like extreme bugs that come with it. God, we are like quite behind now. Hmm. I guess Kamel was better just because she stacked her damage. But I'm pretty sure only stacks like three times, right? Yeah, it's still pretty alright though. So I guess Kamel is still better to carry around for like boss raids. But basically for the stream I'll be trying out pretty much all the different modes. If anything, if you guys missed the stream or any or like anything I've done on the stream, I'll pretty much still have like the stream archive up. I'm not sure how long the stream is gonna go, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna go for like a good while. Oh wow, we almost caught up. Oh, we actually did catch up. Our damage is actually getting up there. Like, really good. I'll be doing like, I'll especially be doing tower. I'll do probably tower at like near the end of the stream. Or probably like in the middle of the stream. Somewhere around there. I'll try to like put it in there. But I'll definitely be trying out the arena, seeing how how good it is. I at least want to stream for at least an hour or two. And also, when the stream starts, I'm going to pretty much wait for a little bit before I actually start going into like making Margaret. Because I will be making Margaret on stream. I don't care how tired I'll be at around that time, I'm still going to do it. Dude, this has been going on for a while. I think I might need uh, 10 minutes again. That'd be dope to get in. But with the amount of allies I have right now, I can get Margaret to uh, max plus 5. It's just that the essence that I need right now, that I'm actually farming pretty much every day. And... I've been going against Ruby Mines as people saying it's pretty decent. So far it's actually pretty decent because I would get like 10 Essence and like, well at least 10 Essence and like Light Essence, Hero Essence and Titan Essence. So it's, still, it's pretty good so far. I'm definitely using that area quite a bit. And that's pretty much on Legend. And I'm also still waiting for Myth Mode. I definitely want to try that one out. I can't wait for them to release that. If they go straight from Legend to next chapter, that's going to throw me off. Pretty sure they won't because they've always doing, been doing like this, like hero, legend, and myth mode. Really hoping they don't skip over that. I doubt they will though. The old Korean version is inside of like overload uh, meta. Pretty much all the overload units are way better than all the. Um, all the trans and they just been outperforming them like so badly. As for me, 
Um, when I was playing a Korean version, we had a free choice of whichever like overload you wanted. And I chose um, Mach 5, like I said I was going to choose. And she is strong as hell. The weakest one that people have said and the weakest one I've actually noticed that I can agree with them with is Ion. Ion, she is not really all that good. She sucks. She doesn't have like enough damage output, to be honest. Even if you build her right, she just feels like she's lacking. So, yeah, so far everybody's saying she's the weakest out of them all. So I guess I'll still be using Winlu around that meta moment. Or I'll probably just have a full team of the other ones, of the other overloads. But for making the overloads, you need uh, an arc ally. It's pretty much going back to the um, whole DFI, how you make DFIs. You gotta ultimate the character, then you gotta choose whichever class it is, then you gotta make it. So in short, you have to have an arch, like a um, assassin to make Mach 5. So, yeah, it's pretty much going back to that basics. I'm not sure if the unit disappears while making Mach 5, though. That's the thing that nobody has confirmed for me yet. Because if that hero disappears, I'm definitely not going to use Margaret to make the um, Encanter um, Overload. I'm probably going to use something else. Just because Margaret was viable all the way up to Chapter 5. Until the um, Overloads came out. Alright, see? I made it to 10 minutes and actually made a better score by a few points. Yep, Margaret's still crazy in DPS. That's why I like having her around. Alright. What else we got today? Uh, I think we do an arena? Yep. Pretty soon that's going to be one combined thing. But the, hold up. The thing is... The thing is, will this be like changed into like 120 um, rubies though? I'm really hoping that's the case and they just don't jip us out of some rewards and this just end up being 60 rubies altogether. Because then that's just going to be like, you you just seriously hit us with a nerf to our rubies then. I really hope it's not that. Uh, I'm going to use that. There we go. Let's go ahead and just fight somebody right okay yeah I forgot I took her out just because of the update it's coming up uh, I'll put her back in then we're gonna do this then I'll take her out like later on or I'll probably forget and just embarrass myself on stream by still having her in there yeah this is gonna be quite unfair inside of arena right now especially when they combine it just imagine this dude. What if this dude only had these characters uh, for his like team, and I only had like trams? I don't know if Arena would be like all that fair because we'll be attacking like lower like units. But at the same time, okay, why did you do this? Change that back. Wait, what? Stop changing my formation too. But it's definitely going to give us like a lot more variety to attack. Instead of attacking like all OP people. You'll be able to like, I guess stack up your points and everything. Which I don't know will be the best sort. But it's not like we can't still do it. We can, this dude's right here and I can easily fight him and beat him. But I'm not going to. You know, you can easily stack up your points inside of a buster anyway. With all the people who don't carry like keys or trams. I'm gonna fight this guy since he's... Oh, this guy's the high score. I'm gonna fight this guy instead though. I mean, he has Stormbear. He still has a chance to uh, still beat me. Because Stormberry is pretty strong. All 
All right, there we go. Thank you. Yep, that's pretty much all. But I cannot wait. And a lot of us in the guild have been actually waiting for it as well. We've been like really hyped for it. I definitely am too. Probably gonna sleep for the whole day <laughs> until this time. So you guys probably won't be getting the stream today. You'll probably get like a stream early in the morning. Well, pretty much whenever the update goes up. I'm not sure what time it's gonna go up. All I know is it's gonna start at 8 p.m. Eastern, I think, and it's gonna end at 3 a.m., which is pretty much our, like I said, reset day, which is pretty much our reset time, like I've said. But it's gonna be interesting. Definitely going to be interesting. Uh, what else do I have to do? I already got our like logins here. Pretty sure today's the last login. Or it's next time. Let's see. Hold up. Let's take a look at that. Pretty sure today's the last day for it, right? Whoops. I went down way too fast. Yeah, today's the last day for those. So this is no longer here now. Sad face. Ah. Oh well, I got everything, so I'm good. But the thing I really want them to do is get back into costumes for, like, the allies. Like, I want to see more costumes for the allies, man. And trans stayed, like, in the game for a while. And if the overloads don't get any sick costumes, then it's just gonna be like... You guys are missing opportunities for, like, these sick outfits and everything. Oh, where was I going here? Because everyone loved the whole, like, ally costumes for the DFIs, but now the, the DFIs are pretty much not relevant anymore. When the trans are still pretty relevant inside of um, the reinversion, I mean, you can still use them, and they're pretty much like DFIs now. <laughs> you, you might as well make costumes for them. Why not? You know? But it kind of sucks that we have already went. Kind of sucks that they've already went into the next meta without making costumes for the trans. So I'm pretty sure we won't get any costumes for the trans for a while now. Pretty much in any game, developers want to work on costumes and cosmetics, especially for like their allies and everything, because that's something that really brings in money too. But to be honest, when I first came to the game, I went straight for, like, these costumes. Especially when there were only DFIs at the time. Sadly, that is not the case anymore. Since there's no reason to use DFIs in your team. The current meta of, of the green version, they're still kind of a point in still using uh, trans. Because, you know, arc is still pretty viable. Even if, especially if you don't have all the, um overloads and that's gonna take you quite a while to get them anyway so yeah hmm. I don't know it's up to them whatever they're gonna do I hope they just do something interesting I definitely want to see some more ally costumes instead of the character costumes I mean the main character costumes kind of make sense that they'll pretty much be there for all the reasons just because they're your your character you play as them even though you just don't control them anymore in the Korean version they're just pretty much the game turns into a full auto battle. Hmm. That's gonna suck, but... Most of the time, we have our stuff on auto. So, I won't lie. I mean, some of us still play with, um... Actually using skills. Sometimes it doesn't activate. Especially when key form, just sand. But... Beggars can't be choosers. So, guys, I'm gonna wrap up here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I finished all my dailies for today. I need to go back to grinding and i'll see you guys whenever this stream thing starts to then peace out